What's up, Wayne Barron here with DarkFX.net, and we are once again inside Microsoft Visual Studio with our lesson number three, and this one right here is going to be our cookie lesson. And what we're going to be doing here is that we're going to be creating and reading from a cookie. So the first thing that we want to do here is that we want to recreate this button. As, I, as you can see or tell, I have changed the button's text to response from its default value. And so what we're going to do here is that we're going to come over and we're going to change this to cookie and we're going to leave everything else the same. We're going to save that and then we're going to come over here and double click on our cookie. First thing we're going to do is that we're going to reuse this information right here. So let's go ahead and copy that and bring it down to here. And now the next thing we want to do here is that we want to type in if my string equals delete cookie then. So what we want to do here is that we want to make it so that we can delete the cookie if we no longer have a use for the cookie. And so let's go ahead and type in dim my cookie uh, let's make that a capital C. My cookie as HTTP cookie. Okay. Now let's drop down to my cookie and equals new HTTP cookie and let's go back and it's going to be string info okay let's drop down to the next line and type in my cookie dot expires equals date time dot now dot oops dot add days and I really hate it whenever it drops down like that five so what this, what this is going to do is that this is going to create the cookie or I'm sorry we're not going to create it we're going to delete it that's minus 1d okay now what this is going to do is that this is going to set the cookie to minus one day Therefore, we can no longer use it or access its values after it's been set to one a minus one day. And so the next thing we want to do here is that we want to let the person know that we have deleted the cookie. So cookie has been deleted. Okay, now, okay, so that's going to let the person know that the cookie has been deleted. Then we're going to do a response dot cookies dot add and type in my cookie oops okay so that right there will end our delete of our cookie so when we uh, we click on the button here and if we have this text within our text field then it is going to delete this cookie else Okay, in this case, we want to create the cookie if it does not exist and write to the cookie. So let's do a response. Oops, response dot cookie dot set new HTTP cookie and do string info. And then we want to add in our string there at the end. Okay, so the next thing we want to do here is type in response dot cookie, oops, cookies, and then string info dot expires equals date time dot now dot add days and there it goes drop it down again we want to set this at five days and so what this is going to do is that it's going to write in the expire of our cookie and it's going to last for five days after five days and the cookie will automatically be deleted from the user system so then the next thing we want to do here is type in dim get val get value as string 
equals context dot cookie oops request dot cookie and string info dot value okay what this is going to do so th this is going to set up our integer so that we can use it our integer it's not integer I'm sorry we're going to set up our string so that we can use it to read this value so now we're going to do a response dot write and then we're going to do cookie information let's do this and now we want to get the value and then we want to come over here and end the value okay so what this is going to do is that once the cookie is created and data is inserted into the cookie uh, we're going to do a response dot write and then the response dot write is going to read the cookie information plus whatever value that we have inserted into our text field and so once the information is inserted into the text field it can then be read back out with our get value so let's go ahead and save this and now we need to come over here to our default.aspx page okay and now we've created our uh, two uh, brackets here let's go ahead and type in the following information if whoops request dot dot cookies I'm going to do string info is nothing then we want to go context dot response dot write cookie does not exist on system yet Come over here and do else and then we're going to do dim get value as string equals context dot request dot cookies string info dot value so let's come down and do a response dot write and then type in cookie cookie value And let's do get value. And that right there should take care of it. <clears throat> so what we're going to do here is that we're going to check to make sure that the cookie exists. If it does not exist, we're going to display a message. Cookie does not exist on system yet. Else, we're going to uh, if the cookie does exist, then we're going to uh, create the string value of get value. That get value is going to gather the information from the cookie and then we're going to do response.write. Then we're going to take the get value and we're going to uh, write it out to the user's monitor. So now with that, that run, let's go ahead and come here. And it's already in debug mode, so let's go ahead and start. Okay. As you can see, cookie does not exist on system yet. And then we also got to come down here and let's go ahead and do a break there. That way it's already there. So 
Now, whenever the system's first run, or the page's first run, we get cookie does not exist on the system. So, uh, if we do our response, it tells us to fill out the information. So, uh, cookie test. Okay, thank you for the information, cookie test. And now we're going to take the same information, paste it there, and then we're going to create our cookie. And as you can see, the cookie information is cookie test, and then it automatically read the information here and gave us our value of cookie test. And so that is basically it. Uh, it's really, really simple. It took me, well, not really simple. It actually took me a, about, uh, about almost a good hour to get everything to where it would actually do right. I read one uh, lesson and it got me started, but it would not work worth two cents. And so, but anyway, this right here works pretty good. Also, we got to delete our cookie. So if we come down here and we choose delete cookie and click on that, cookie has been deleted. And now whenever we run the page, it says cookie does not exist on the system yet. So then again, if we type in uh, hello YouTube and we create a cookie with hello YouTube and then we run the page, it gives, it our, gives us our cookie value of hello YouTube. So that lets you know that it is working. Once again, run the page again, it is working. And then if you want to delete the cookie, you come down here and you delete it, and the cookie is officially gone off from the system. All right, Wayne Barron here with ArcFix.net. This is lesson number three in Microsoft Visual Studios, BB.net. Bye-bye.